<laughs> I'm joined by my co-host, Jacob Scott Thomas Bertrand, the blue-haired half of the group. And today, behind the counter, we have Jordan and... Wait, what? Wait, where? He's right here. Where's... Monica. Ah, uh, right oh, Monica's not here. Monica she quit. Here. She has She's, COVID. No, uh. she, she quit. She's gone. She, she said... I'm sick. Monica... Jordan, cut this out. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do anything you now. You can't stop us. No red button Jordan, now. <laughs> I control the red button. I hope, <laughs> I hope that that does make it in if we're going, Jordan, no, please cut that. Cut that, Jordan. <laughs> but um, welcome to this week's episode of the podcast. Jacob, let's do a little cross-pollination. I don't think we've actually said it live on the podcast before or mentioned on the podcast um, Jacob has another YouTube show that he indulges yeah, in, I do. and um, it's kind of similar uh, to Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, these trading card games. Um, it's called Flesh and Blood. Mm -hmm. Shout out Flesh and Blood. It's kind of a new up-and-coming card game, and Jacob and his homies Aiden and Sam, Sam are kind <laughs> of... Um, at the forefront of, of this new boom and game, you just went to a pre-release for those of y'all that were just throwing a bunch of buzzwords out at you guys right now. <laughs> um, basically, Jacob went to a card game conference to compete Yeah, in a new line of cards, this season's yeah. cards that are coming out. Dust Till Dawn, Drafting Monarch. This is, yeah, a ton of buzzwords. Yeah, a ton of buzzwords. But so I, I have a question because y'all are... You know, this game is really new. Yeah. It's, it's less super than new. a year old, right? It's or like, or like about a year three, old. It's, it's super young. It came young out during COVID, and, so it was like... Yeah, came out came out during COVID. Um, a, how did you get into this? What is... I don't even know this, actually. Dude, so my homie Aiden, I was like trying to get... As I do, I'm like constantly trying to get people into Magic. Okay. And I was like, hey, we should play Magic, we should play Magic. And he's like, oh yeah, I have, I have played some card games before. He's like, I've played this... I started this game Flesh and Blood. And I was like, hmm. oh, what's that? I've heard about it. Tolarian Community College prof has mm -hmm. done like some videos on it. Um, and I was like, oh, this looks cool. And I played, he taught me in like one night and I played a game. And I love Magic the Gathering. I always play Magic the Gathering. What's the biggest difference? It's just so much more, I think, complex. There's so many more lines. Really? Of play. Yeah. Already so, Magic is a pretty complex yeah, I just and think like There's unique. so many more lines of play and every, your, every single car, card does everything. There, you, like, there is no like, oh, I got mana mm -hmm. screwed. Like, you can always do something with your hand, like, and you're constantly getting new hands, and, mm. like, it's okay. just, yeah, I don't know. It's a lot more complicated. It's very, very, like, competitively driven. There is a multiplayer aspect, but not a lot of people play it. Mm. It's very much, like, one-on-one, -on -one, you versus me, like, let's fucking, we're gonna go hard. All right, all and right. It's, it's it's super fun, but, yeah, I got to go out to Ohio. Um, the Realm Games, they sponsor our YouTube channel called Three Floating. You should check it out. Hey, they don't, they don't sponsor this fucking channel. So, they don't sponsor uh, this show. Yes, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Fuck no. Uh, but they're they're based in Ohio. They're they're at LGS out there and a local, um, local game store. Local game store. Um, so we went to what Ohio. a nerd. I can't believe you just you know acronym what that means. <laughs> I can't believe. Well, I know it because of you. I can't believe you just acronymed your local card shop, bro. <laughs> that's what they're called, bro. It's the, your LGSs. Right now. What is the opposite of LGS? A BGS? LG. The big man, yeah, the yeah, big man big, store, yeah, BMS, Target. big man store. No, uh, the opposite is like buying on like Card Kingdom or TCG Player, like buying online. Like, go to your local store and buy before you go. Like, you know, give your money to Target. Why not give it to the local? Yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Give it to local on the card. Yeah. Um. Sure. Yeah. So went out there, went to Ohio, did some drafting where you like okay. kind of build your yeah. deck on the fly. Um. Got to the finals one round, lost. Uh, but it was super fun. It was super, super cool. I was there for a couple of days. Uh, I lit, got to light fireworks, went shooting. Okay. Um, it was, yeah, it was super Engaged cool. in some real Midwest activities. Re like, real Midwest stuff. We ate uh, Sloppy Joes that was made from deer. Oh, cool. Venison. That I haven't had a Sloppy Joe since the crappy ones I had in fucking middle school. Yeah. I, I mean, they were delicious. Forever. But I, yeah, this one was super good, but... We lit um, fireworks. Okay. Uh, one of the owners of the realm, the owners of the realm, their father. It was their 60th birthday, mm. so we were there for like this huge extravaganza. Oh, like, cool! There was probably like 
60 to 70 people on this huge farm. Like, mm-hmm. the farm that they live at is 150 acres. Uh. It's this big-ass farm that has this huge pond. It's pretty. It's more like a lake, to call yeah. it more than to call it a pond. Oh, okay. You can, like, swim in. Um, and they got him a 1963 Shelby Cobra for his birthday. For his birthday? Yeah, dude. Oh, it was snap. Fucking okay. sick. And uh, Keith and Jacob, they're the two guys that own it. They're like, hey, we're going to do some fireworks for my dad's birthday. We do it every year. Do you want to help us set it up? And I was like, yeah, okay. sure. So I thought, you know, like. Have you I've, ever set up a firework before? I've done, like, firecrackers before, yeah, yeah. you know. And I was like, oh, cool. I kid you not, their boxes, you can't see. Their boxes as big as this coffee table. Like a chest. Like, yeah. It's literally like a big chest. And me and Aiden were like. For one firework? For one firework. We're setting up, it was maybe like a hundred feet lined of like three rows of like all, like varying sizes. Some of them are oh the God. size of like a laptop, but like pretty big. Some are like a big cylinder thing. We're setting up these fireworks and they literally just have like, you just peel this thing off and it has a little green fuse coming out of it. Like Ac- Acme style. Yeah. Like, really. Like, and so we're setting up all these things. It's super humid, and like the sun starts to set, and all these fireflies start coming out. And I've oh, never, me and Aiden have never seen fireflies before, so we we're freaking the fuck out. We're like, "This is crazy!" Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 like, dude, you can catch them like in your like they just like like fly around. You can like catch them in your hand, and they'll like very lethargic. They're very slow. Yeah, it was so cool. But anyway, so. We go to light these fireworks and they're like, all right, let's just go. And they have like this table set up and literally the brand of fireworks was were called Barely Legal. They're Barely Legal Fireworks oh, nice. in Ohio. And it's just the images, this dude, the fucking huge ass AR. And it's like the bombshells. And they're like just these big uh, canisters. And you just drop them in these little tubes and you just light the tops of them. Okay. And it, it, on it, it's louder than a gunshot. Whoa. It is so, that's them. Yeah, barely legal. Barely legal fireworks. Yeah. And uh, so to give people a perspective, are we talking about like Disneyland style? Like literally Disneyland Six Flags looking fireworks. Whoa. And so they're like, all right, this is what you're going to do. Like, uh, you're just going to run up, like stagger them around, like don't ride, light them right next to each other. You know, Aiden, you start on that end, you start lighting those. And so we literally had just these blow torches. Yeah. And you would sprint, like huddle down. <laughs> And they're like, yeah, it's usually two to 20 seconds before they go off. What? And I was like, wait, wait, wait. How is it two to 20? Tw- like, that makes no sense. They're like, if some the- of the fuses just burn quicker. faster. Aiden's trying to light this firework, and he gets a little sketched out with this firework right next to him kind of going off. going Because they go, boosh, boosh. Yeah. Because there's multiple little canisters in yeah. one. So he runs away, and he's like, oh, shit, I didn't like that one. I didn't like that one. And she's like, Jacob, you go light it. Jacob, you go light it. So I sprint over there, and I go to light this firework. And I'm, like, maybe four or five feet away from it. And the one that was kind of going off, like, pretty low, it shoots really hard, and it wobbles the thing, and it falls, and then writes itself back up, like, in the... What the heck? In, like, the big boom of it falling, one of the canisters, like, falls out. Mm Mm-hmm. And it's just like a loose rocket. So instead of pointing straight up, it's just on the ground and can fucking fire in any direction. What the heck? So I'm like, okay, the odds that it fucking hits me are pretty fucking low, but I'm still going to like start to not go towards it. So I start like backing up. As soon as I, I like I'm running towards it, I go like this. The fire goes pew, fucking when it goes, you know, it goes pew, pew. And there's like a second one. The first one, boom, starts hitting at me. I'm like, oh my God. I turn a little bit more. It hits my collarbone, bounces off my collarbone, goes straight up and bounce and like explodes like ten ish feet oh <laughs> above me. Oh my god! And it's like, bah! and I'm like, ah! and I just I can still through like the crazy loud bang. I just hear Aiden go, take her off! <laughs> like screaming because he was like, Yo. go light that one, go light that one, and I literally am running over like, that. What? Yeah, it's pretty the crazy. Heck? And then I got back, and all the Ohio guys were like. Dang, you got hit by one. Wow, That's that was it's crazy, It your rite man. of passage. Yeah, yeah and I was yeah. like, oh, my God, that was so scary. But it was cool. We had to do uh, uh, the grand finale where, like, big ones, like, big, huge, huge mm-hmm. fireworks, like, all really right next to each other in two rows. And it was just two people on each side just starting in the middle and just lighting them. Yeah. And, like, as these ones had short-ass fuses, and they were the biggest ones. And as soon as you lit it, like, literally three seconds later, it was going, bang, bang. And you're just like, lighting this one. Bang, 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 bang. It was it was really freaking cool. Nice. So Ohio was the fun aunt for the weekend. Ohio was a fun aunt. We got to go skeet shooting with uh with um 
like big Fanta bottles. Oh my god! And like just throwing them up, going, pull. What a yeah! What a Midwesterner you were. Have you 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 mentioned off the podcast um, that y'all shot an AK? And I'm not a really big fan of guns, but I I've bear I've bared witness to someone shooting an AK before. Yeah. And I was so scared. Dude, uh, we were We were in the range, and A, it's nothing like COD. No. Like, where it's like, do, 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 yeah, I, I feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger. You're like, ah. Yeah, no, that that was the first and last time that I that I I didn't even do it. I just watched someone do it. Yeah, I I had the pistols like, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then the boys were shooting AKs, and I was like, no, you should that's try it. Too much. You don't want to try it. I don't even know if I got the shoulder for that bitch. I mean, no, like, you'd be fine. Maybe start with like a rifle. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be fine. I have no interest, Maybe. honestly. I just have I th- I just think it's so uh, like. I just, it's fun. I shot, I don't even know what caliber gun I was shooting, but I was shooting like this, like deer hunting gun that this guy had. And it had this, you know, nice ass freaking scope on it. And I've shot some shotguns that like, you know, hit you pretty hard. This thing, like I felt it in my toes. It was like, like it was so powerful, but so much fun. We shook up, you know, the big coat bottles and like put them, you know, like, a hundred yards out, and I was like, "Look at this!" And watching that shit explode was so cool. Uh, we have a special guest for this week's episode, and it's uh, not someone who we're expecting. So, could we please make we'll the a, stage? We'll do a be right back. Yeah, actually, we'll oh, be, yeah, right be, back. Right back, be right back. Once we come back from this break, we'll we be have to here with cameras. So you'll meet the guest in three, two. All right, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back. From the break, um, we are welcomed by the one and only Oshunomara Ramirez. Thank you so much for joining the podcast. Um, this is actually the second time you've been on the podcast. The first time you were uh, a part of our uh, segment, our trial segment, Rapid Fire with Oshunomara Ramirez. Torture and, trivia. Uh, today we're getting to chat with you for a little bit, so thanks for thanks for coming on, tuners. How do you feel? Are you um, nervous? I'm a little nervous, but also at the same time, I feel like all the people know about me is that I'm violent and okay. I'm funny. <laughs> all right, violent and funny. Are you, and you want to keep it that way? I don't know. Okay. Those are really my redeeming qualities. Okay, okay, okay. Violence. I well, can attest for sure. Look, the the podcast, as the podcast may or may not know, Washun is my sister, 15 years old. You just had a birthday. I did, my quince. Your quince. Um, and we're so excited to have you on. I wanted to uh, ask you, we mentioned on the podcast, um, you've gone out, you also are an actor and oh. a thespian. <laughs> um, you know, you're... A fifteen-year-old doing your thing, and uh, tell us, Oshun, why you think you have been typecast, auditioned, oh. typecast. <laughs> I was like, "Where are you as going?" With this? No, as soon as you were like, "Girl in well," <laughs> what do you think it is about you, Oshun, that <laughs> Disney that all says all of your auditions are girl? You in well. are the princess who is trapped in the well. <laughs> so for four Disney shows, I have auditioned, gotten a callback. And then not book <laughs> girl in well in a princess dress. Well, they and just two love other you, times I was a girl dressed up as a princess, and two other times I was a princess. That's funny. And I was like, this is such a weird plot point. Why <laughs> does this keep happening? And just it happened twice in the same show. Well, bunked. In this, it happened in the same twice well? in bunked, not in the really? same season. It was like four seasons apart. I auditioned for the first season, or no, maybe not, not the first season. But the, I, yeah, yeah. I auditioned for. It twice in the same show, and I was like, "Why is this happening twice?" Maybe it's a callback. They're like, "Dude, that chick is still in the fucking well." Holy <laughs> shit! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, uh, Damn, yeah, we actually the, forgot recurring. about her. Yeah, recurring role. Well, well, yeah. I just I, I thought it was funny. We were talking uh, with Gianni when he was on about about girl and yeah, well. About, uh, no, just about like roles that we've been typecasted as. 
Um, I do actually, you know, I want to talk about your, you just finished your freshman year of high school, so congrats to that. Um, it's no easy feat. Jacob and I have been removed from the high school experience for a for few a years now and have no uh, wants to ever go back. <laughs> so <laughs> I, freshman year, holy shit, that would suck. Yeah, give us, give us the highs and lows. What did, what did you think of the high school experience? Um, it was 100% not what I expected. Um, really? This is the first time I've ever had to wear a uniform, mm. which was weird because, one, I kept forgetting, and I wore green socks to school. And I got dress coded. Anyway, it was the first time I ever had to wear a uniform. And something else I did was the first month of school, I auditioned for a musical. I got in. And then I spent from September to December in that musical, going after school. Sometimes we had rehearsal until 9 o'clock. So I'd come home really late. Um, it was really cool. I got the lead. Woo-hoo. I didn't think I was going to. What was it called? In, in the, the Heights. Heights. In the Heights. I saw it. It was very good. Yeah. Um, in the Heights. <laughs> It was really fun. It was a little awkward when I had to like perform it in front of a bunch of people. <gasps> especially with my you had a kiss. That's right. <laughs> oh, I did have a kiss. And then on stage kiss. On stage kiss with a guy that was seventeen. He was a junior. It was really awkward. Ew. It was very what? awkward. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> what? So I was what? like, Ugh. what the heck? <laughs> I have a question for you, Juniors, and this is something that I'm curious about because. We, we, there's seven years apart between us and kind of as long as you've been around this, this world, I've been an actor, right? You were three years old when I started acting. As long as you've been alive, I've been doing the <laughs> shit I've been doing. Yeah. I've been in my crats for your whole life. Baby. Do you feel any inherent pressure to, cause like. Uh, something that I worry about as an older brother, <laughs> not as an actor, is the idea, I, you know, I don't want any of my family members, but especially you being the impressionable young, you know, young, younger sister of mine, I don't ever want you to feel like you have to do something because I'm doing it or there's pressure to do this. Do you ever, do you feel ever pressure to, to do acting or anything like that? Or what is your, what is your relationship with it? How did you, what, what makes you, what do you want to do? Do you have, a, have any ideas about it? Um, She's 15. What is your career? What is the career you I do, do have do? a <laughs> career path already. Well, because I feel like, well, personally speaking, well, I feel like, awesome. yeah, I, I feel like with yes. this, with the success that I was able to find at a young age, our, our parents were like, oh, okay, well, if this is something that you want to do, you want to try it out. How, how have you been enjoying it? Um, well, one, I did feel pressure, but I okay. mostly felt pressure now because you were in the science and math program in high school. So my oh, mom's okay. like, I don't understand why you're bad at math. No one in our family is bad at math. Except for mom. Except for my mom, <laughs> <laughs> who is bad like, at math. You made me like this. <laughs> Um, and then with acting, I, you like on-screen acting. You both like on-screen acting. I know you do. You like it more than voiceover. I love voiceover. I mm-hmm. like voiceover a lot more than I like on-screen acting. Okay. What about theater? Theater? I, theater's different. What? I like theater because theater, it just has more stakes. It's not, oh, let's redo this take. Let's do it perfectly. Theater is you get, w- like, one shot on stage to do it specifically that way. Mm-hmm. And that's it. And you like that rush. I do like that rush. Would you consider yourself a thespian? <sighs> I don't know. Thespian's a strong word. <laughs> <laughs> um, I definitely don't consider myself a theater kid because there's a difference between theater kid, thespian, and a kid that does theater. Mm, they, very true. There's different things. Um, One is more pretentious. Theater kids? Suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> theater kids? They just do. I'm so wow. sorry. They just suck. There are they certain totally theater do. kids where they're I didn't like, say I did they'll not sing Hamilton you all the corroborate. time. They're like, they'll just sing everywhere, and I don't like that. <laughs> oh, sure. Wait, that's literally you. <laughs> okay. Wait, what the heck? That is you in the are, confines I, of my own uh, home. This is not in public. I don't sing uh, in front of people in public. I sing in the bathroom. And I, and, no, I was singing in the bathroom, and Sholo was like down here on the couch, and he was like, I can hear you. In the Heights. <laughs> I was singing a song from In the Heights. Really? Actually, oh, yeah. Man, it's probably so ingrained in your brain. <laughs> it is. Sometimes I'll hear music, and I'm just like, I instantly start dancing. It's just muscle memory. Memory. I'll remember choreo from things I've done. Damn, you kind of sound like a theater. You sound I'm like a thespian. Oh, yeah. I'm a thespian. I'm not a theater kid. Theater kids are like glee. Wait, okay, I'm so confused because I thought we were about to start shitting on theater kids <laughs> or on thespians, and now you're saying that you are a thespian. I'm a thespian, but I'm not a theater kid. 
Oh, okay, okay. I mean, because I don't know. I think both of them kind of suck. Theater <laughs> kids suck more. Yeah. There's like mm-hmm. a. Lesbians yeah. are more passionate. They want to actually do like I don't I don't know how to describe this. <laughs> it's just they're different. Okay. They're different. I think that means this is from outside looking in from what I've heard from some of my friends who are super into theater. I think thespians mm-hmm. like love the craft okay. more so, and I think theater kids just like the buzz of theater and plays and like is going to a- watch them and like loving them. It's almost like if there's an actor and a movie watcher? Like a like this is a bad example, but the only one I can think of. Like <laughs> great. People who like comic books and go okay. see Marvel movies, and then people who just love Iron Man. And you pref- you don't one is a bandwagon, I guess you're saying, or not like- really bandwagon, but just like Iron Man. Well, yeah. Theater kids more <laughs> <laughs> I I don't love I I think people who do like Broadway theater fucking rock. I think people in I just had bad <laughs> examples with when I was in high school. All of the theater thespian kids were just assholes. Yeah, and that was that. I, and I've, I've it's common. It seems in in high schools. But um, yeah, theater. I love theater. Theater is definitely something I want to do. And if I don't do theater, I want to become a social worker for formerly incarcerated youth. Wow. What 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 prompts that? Um, that's what our mom does. She has that. And also, I don't know. It's just, I have a lot of family members that are social workers. And I feel like doing that, I do want to do something that makes a difference. I do have a question for you, Oshun. Yes. You're hitting the age right now, and, and we've had a couple of conversations in the car just just chatting about you're, you're hitting the age where boys are starting to like you. As a freshman, <laughs> what is the biggest ick for you right now about ick. boys? What is, what, is, what is the worst freshman thing you ick. can do as a freshman boy? Oh, God, there's so many. <laughs> um, one, this is, might just be a private school thing, the school you go to. That is if an you ick. Go to you a can't fucking school. control that. <laughs> if you go to a certain school, no, because all the kids at that school act the same. Oh. And they're all icky. What's the school? Well, I want to know. We can cut no, it. It's we my can... school. <laughs> it's good. Actually, yeah, that's, you're lying. No, that's what she just said. Yeah. <laughs> oh so, shit! Wow, right now, his gen- the generation at his old school Sucks. is icky. They're icky. And but then they you keep say, having you have crushes. To say, on. You have to say how. I, I asked how what, what does that mean. You just said. Uh, uh, um. What do they do? Oh what's God. what's something icky? Oh, don't tell me that you like me and then like over text <laughs> don't tell me you like me over text oh, that's valid that's so I, but i but it's funny because oshun is you know you're having a lot of these first time experiences and you're talking about them in the car and i totally am being brought back to <laughs> like my high school experience and like what it was like to have a crush on someone or tell yeah. them yada 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 and and you said something that was that was kind of funny to me you were saying that there was there was someone like some guy that's that's some kid that's into you and he just was like he said this thing and i i remember being a high schooler saying like hey can i ask you something or oh, hey i need to talk yeah. to you oh, or like wait. actually with that specific case he never told me he liked me but he told someone else and that person told me and i'm just like oh Okay. That's so funny. That's icky. If you tell someone you have a crush on someone and then like that person's friend tells me, okay. that's gross. Just tell me yourself. Okay, but oh my god. Who whose fault is that? Do you fa- fault the guy cuz like if I have a crush on someone, I'm going to talk to my friends about it. Is that just an asshole friend or the guy just took too long to but come the around thing and tell is you? That he told his friend oh, who was my friend first. So they're really my friend oh. that he told and so I was he just wants- like he wanted he me wants to find out, but at the same time, like, ugh, I don't know. And then I ended up ghosting him, and I felt really bad. <laughs> I don't know if you need to feel bad. I feel like I've done that five times. I feel like that's a thing. <laughs> five. Heartbreaker. <laughs> I've done that five times. Someone will tell me they like me, and, and I... <laughs> Why? Well, I have a question. Well, I have a question, because this is what I was thinking, because I really didn't know what to do. What do you do when someone texts you that they like you and you don't like them do you just say like oh, I guess you sorry? ghost them five times yeah well no that's what I was <laughs> like, saying I, I like she was saying it I was like I guess yeah. that's I guess you do it especially since you're not going two, to school with these people like yeah. two other you... times that that happened I liked them back but the second they liked me I was like ugh 
Oh, oh my gosh. That was a red flag on my part. <laughs> Chunies, you're a dog. What the heck? Is- Why? Ch- Chunies just Why? likes what she happened? just likes to chase. I Jeez. that yeah. <laughs> You're too, yeah. you, like uh, it's you know what no, it is. No, but at the same time, all of these, th- both of those things uh, were during summer camp, so like I'm never gonna see them again. So like, what's the point? Well, how can I can I ask you a question? Um, what shows you like to watch a lot of shows about high school or like about like a lot of YA shows? Is there a show that you feel like ah, this is kind of what it's like oh, because Dairy girls. Jacob and I, which one? Dairy Girls. <gasps> Dairy Girls? Dairy Girls. What is They're that? They're Irish. They go to a private school. And it's like during this whole, it's set in the 19s. It's set okay. in the 90s, 90s. Um, when dairy was like. Oh, being pushed. Late like leaving. Milk? Yeah. <laughs> dairy, no. L- London Dari. Dairy, the place. Oh, Dairy. Dairy like, Yeah, London Dairy. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh, I totally thought it was I milk. love that show. I and I think too. it very much does represent how kind of going to a Catholic school is. Okay. Because it is an all-girls Catholic school and then they're like oh my god I like this guy at another school and they're like oh what are you gonna do about it she's like I don't know I see him once a week I see him once a month (laughs) okay Mm. or like by the because what happened at our school is like the teachers will have sons that are like the same age as us and when they come to campus all the girls will freak out they're like oh my god it's a guy (laughs) 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 oh my god we're excited it's a man (laughs) it's a man it's a male there was a friend of yours that that you that you have uh, a guy friend of yours who introduced you to someone else as Sholo's sister. Oh, yeah. Now, mm. tell... Uh, oh, my gosh. What? Oh, no, no, never mind. Um, <laughs> now, what is that, you know, and you can speak as candidly or as however, how does that make you feel? That That's one of the icks I was going to bring up. Yeah. That has happened multiple times where they'll introduce me anyone i don't like when anyone introduces me as someone else's blah 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 blah. like at work i happen to work also where my mom works Mm -hmm. and people are like oh this is the boss's daughter that sucks and i hate that because i'm my own person i'm not connected to anybody else yeah so when people go oh this is the boss's daughter this is shola's little sister i have a name i'm my own person Mm-hmm. And yes, I do. You guys are my family. I'm okay with being connected to you, but being introduced like that is very annoying to me. Yeah, I hear that. How can you? Because because I feel like honestly, this is going to be something that is inevitable in yeah. in in our life, especially as as things progress for the both of us. How can you, if there's anybody else out there who is going through something similar or who maybe feels like, ugh, I, I don't like that, what would you say to them? How do you, do you forget about it? Do you laugh about it? What do you, how do you make sure that it doesn't get under your skin? Because obviously, these things can can get under your skin, but it's, and it's also, because of that, it's easy to, I would, I would deem, I think it makes it easier to kind of feel bitter, even to someone like myself, because it's it's out of our control. So how do you do you have any words of advice for people who are maybe going through the same thing? What do you what do you do? How do you how do you laugh it off? So I used to laugh it off, but then that would just make people think it was okay to bring it up. Mm-hmm. So I like when that happened, when someone my friend introduced me to his other friend as, Oh, this is Sholo's little sister, I said I told him that I didn't like him doing that and he hasn't done it since. No one has at my school has done it since. N- I made a point to say that at my w- job, that I'm not the boss's daughter. I'm my own person. I have a radio show. And no one has done it since. So I like being very vocal and direct, telling people, no, I have boundaries. I have my personal, what I want. What happens if someone us. feels like they can't speak up for themselves? How would you? Yeah, because that's hard. To yeah, it's, it's not people. everyone has the luxury of, of being confident, confident yeah. enough to, to speak for themselves. How can you, how can you, is there a mindset that can change, you know, or, or? A hundred percent there is a mindset. It's, I just, I always felt comfort in knowing that I am my own person. Like people can introduce me as that, but then they'll see later on that I am my own person. I'm not connected to them. That's great. That's a great piece of advice. It sounds like you have a, a great sense of self. Yeah. And I think that that's, it's, you're, that's honestly, you're, better off than than a lot of other kids your age um 
yeah, let's let's wrap it up here, tuners. Um, thank you so much for hopping on the pod. I hope uh, that everyone enjoyed. It was so. I honestly was a little <laughs> nervous to have you on the pod. What did you think see. I was going to sell you out? No, 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 <laughs> no, not not anything like that. But I don't know. I'm, I was, I I'm with you all the time. <laughs> And I, wow. and and I was curious as to what this was going to be like, but <laughs> I'm so glad that you came on, and we'd love to have you on again um, to talk about your sophomore year of high school and the oh, cheese God, man and and the stuff. What are you? Are, are do you do you want to take us out of the podcast? Yeah, do you want to give us the wrap up? Thank you guys. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't take myself seriously. Thank you guys so much for listening today on Non Lobos. You can find us on Spotify and YouTube, right? Yeah, you're yeah. Better than anywhere Jacob. you listen, Spotify, to- YouTube, <laughs> anywhere you listen to your podcast, um, we've you guys should go back and watch in our archives to see me again. Shoot them! <laughs> oh. See me shoot them blindfolded. It's, it's not really a gun. Funny. It's not it's, a gun. It's um a fake gun. It's a BB gun. No, it's not a gun. <laughs> it's 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 a unicorn. Yeah, it's a unicorn. It's a unicorn. We love it. Well, thank you so much, <laughs> tuners. Um, that was Oshunomara Ramirez. Um, Government name. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I am one third of the podcast uh, and wrapping it up, joined by my wonderful uh, co-ed high school experience. Yeah, I'm just a lowly public school guy. <laughs> yeah. I, guess. I, I didn't have it like that growing up. Go to private shit. We, well, no, we. Hey, I was on academic scholarship, my boy. Are you on academic scholarship? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my but. school's in the middle of the woods. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, we have coyotes there. Okay. Uh, Coming at you live from the Coyote Queen, uh, Oshun. uh, Thank you so much for uh, being our guest. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Thank you. This episode of Lone Lobos is a Lone Lobos production produced by Monica Tamayo and JMKM with intro music by Nicholas Gray. Like what you hear? Check us out on Instagram at Lone Lobos.